Hey guys, how you doing today? It's Ian. Another post-run sort of mine rant here today. It's super hot if you can't tell where I'm at here, so apologies to anyone who feels offended by this, but this is the best time for me to actually have my brain clear to make these videos. Anyways, um, I've been getting lots and lots and lots of questions from people who are struggling trying to make campaigns work. Uh, specifically on YouTube, but what I'm going to talk about here right now goes for YouTube, Facebook, native, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat. I don't care where you're advertising, this is going to hold true 99% of the time, pending one caveat. The offer you're promoting is very broad and wide appeal, right? So like life insurance or mortgages or debt or health insurance or something to do with cars or something to do with relationships or weight gain or weight loss you get my point right something that's super wide appeal so hear this and a lot of people will disagree but i'm telling you that this has worked for me and if other people have different experiences that's fine i'm just telling you what works for me because that's all i want to teach and talk about whatever it is you're promoting and the video ad copy or whatever it is that you put out in front of the audience and the landing page that you use must be able to convert when you run broad and what i mean by broad is no audience or interest targeting only demographic narrowing of an audience so meaning like changing up the age or the gender or whatever it might be that actually matters for what it is you're promoting so for instance if you're promoting an offer that's specific to women well then you would run it just to women within a certain age bracket but no interest no audiences no nothing like that if your video creative whatever ad you've got converts with the landing page you have when it's running broad then going deeper into an audience specific targeting sh should improve and lower your cost per acquisition or cost per lead that will hold true 98 percent of the time when your offer is broad why is that true well because if your offer is broad then you should be able to offer it to everybody and we got to think back before there was the interweb the internet people were advertising with direct mail space ads in the newspaper magazines postcards whatever right billboards they were making these offers work you know, we didn't invent direct response marketing on the internet. We've taken, we think we did, but we actually took what was done by many, many greater copywriters and marketers before us offline and taken it online, right? So this is why I say these offers need to work broad. Otherwise they don't stand, interest targeting isn't gonna fix that, right? So for that reason, when we test something, even when we're in a new account now, we test broad. Yes, we, in YouTube, what we do is we set up a campaign. We usually select our age brackets, you know, like, 25 to 34, 35 to 44, 45 to 54, and then the genders or whatever it might be. Pardon me, we usually exclude TVs. Sometimes we exclude tablets, depending on the offer. Then we set our campaign up and we let it go. We usually don't launch at max conversions. We launch at TCPA because we want to kind of somewhat control the spend on those first couple of days. And then we see if it converts. We see what video works best. Make sure our lander works. We usually always have a split test going on our landing page. And then whatever we find works there, then we'll take that into testing other audiences. What tends to happen is if you go right to trying to target in-market affinity, special interests, custom audiences, all this mumbo jumbo, you may not get results, but you may blame the audience, but it may not be the audience's fault, right? So that's our reasoning. We go right to broad and it has to work there. Um, it, this is saying that I took from someone else that says it has to work in black and white before it can work in color, right? So a fancy dancy landing page with, you know, moving graphics and amazing hero shot, all kinds of testimonials and all that crap. The offer should convert with just a plain quiz or form and a headline, and it shouldn't need all that stuff to have to work, but all that stuff should supplement and improve your conversion. So that's it today. That's just a simple, it's got to work in black and white. It's got to work broad. It's got to work simple before it works complicated. And almost everyone I keep talking to is overcomplicating the crap out of stuff because there's this assumption that all the little buttons and pushes and there's some special secret, but I'm telling you, and I've been saying it for a long time, and I said it in the last video I made, the hook, the offer, the script, the copy, the appeal, right? The headline on the lander, the questions you ask, all that stuff is what makes the difference, not all the little buttons and stuff you push, right? You gotta learn that stuff because that's what's gonna give you scale, that's what's gonna get make you profitable, that's what's gonna make the clients happy, that's what's gonna make your leads cheaper, that's what's gonna make your sales cheaper, right? But you, you don't, that isn't the skill set you need to get good at. You need to get good at the, the videos, the landing pages, the hooks, the appeals, the scripts, the headlines, the split testing, that stuff, the post-click stuff, right? Because I'm telling you, you can find media buyers on Fiverr, on Upwork, all over the place that know how to push all the buttons. Anyways, that's the end of it today. I'm sweating to death here out in the sun. I can see it dripping off my forehead on the screen. I hope this is valuable to some of you. Not trying to offend anyone, but I'm just saying that 
I think that the more we focus on this creative side of things, the more, the better results you're going to get, the better quality of leads you're going to get for your client or for yourself. And um, you'll be focusing on the, from an 80-20 perspective, the 80% in the media buying world is that planning and creation of the video on the landing page, not, not the pushing of buttons and stuff like that. All right, have a great day, guys, and we'll see you in the next video. As always, uh, subscribe below if you want to get all my content. And I'm going to be coming out soon. Um, with a case study on uh, a bunch of videos that we made, which kind of speaks to this, that we actually used only an AI voiceover in Vidnami, which is a video builder we talked about a lot. And we've, we've built out probably like 10 wicked videos over the last couple months on this that have probably generated, I'm pulling this out of my head, but I'm, I'm not lying if it's like 50K or 60K in revenue. No real people even in the voices. They're just AI. It's crazy. So I'm going to come out with this and share that. So subscribe below so when that comes out, you'll get notified. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Cheers.